Hi, I'm Delix Alex, Product Manager for Panasonic's Professional Video Camera Systems. In this video, we'll cover how to configure network settings and use NDI on the AVHLC100. There are hundreds of third-party products and tools in the marketplace that support NDI. First, let's connect from the LAN port of the AVHLC100 to a router or network switch. I'll also connect a personal computer on that same network. I'll then connect an NDIHX Panasonic PTZ to the same switch. Remember to use a PoE Plus or Power Over Ethernet Plus rated switch if you'd like to power the cameras over that same Ethernet cable. By default, the AVHLC100 is set to DHCP, so it will acquire an address automatically. However, if you're using a network switch without a router that uses DHCP or auto addressing, you'll need to set an IP address manually. Here are the steps to do so. Press the Windows key and the bottom Windows taskbar will appear. Right-click the network icon and select Open Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click your network adapter and click Properties. Double-click Internet Protocol version 4. Now I can manually input my network settings. Back on the AVHLC100, I'll open the Input Settings menu. NDI sources discovered by the HLC100 are auto-populated and grouped below under headings identifying channels provided by the source device, or in some cases, the device type. If you don't see anything here, please check your network configuration or consult with your network administrator. As you can see, I see my NDIHX AWHE130 PTZ as well as the computer screen of my presentation laptop running the NDI scan converter tool. Any NDI device or tool on your network would be detected here. You'll also notice that the two NDI outputs, program and aux, are available to be assigned in the input menu, just in case you'd like to monitor these outputs. I could use these NDI outputs in unison with several third-party NDI tools for monitoring or recording and much more. Thank you for watching.